Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, good evening Let me introduce myself My name is Najma Purwinda Tabriza From Medical Laboratory Technology Poltekes Kemenkes Yogyakarta Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV is an infection that attacks the body's immune system, especially white blood cells called CD4 cells. HIV destroys CD4 cells and weakening a person's immunity. If left untreated, it can lead to AIDS or Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Once people get HIV, they have it for life. HIV infection in humans came from a type of simpanse in Central Africa. Studies show that HIV may have jumped from simpanse to human as far back as far back as late 1800. The simpanse version of the virus is called simian immunodeficiency virus. It was probably passed to humans when humans hunt the simpanse for meat and came in contact with their infected blood. Over decades, HIV slowly spread across Africa and later into other parts of the world. The virus has existed in the United States since at least the middle to late 1970s. Symptoms, symptoms of HIV variants depending on the state, stadium level. Many people don't feel symptoms of HIV in the first few months after infection and may not know that they are infected. Other may, may experience influenza-like symptoms including fever, headache, rash, and sore throat. However, these first few months are when the virus is most infectious. As the disease progress, symptoms will be expanded and more pr pronounced. This can include swollen lymph nodes, weight loss, fever, diarrhea, and cold. HIV weakens the body's ability to fight other infections and without treatment, people will become more susceptible to other severe illnesses such as tuberculosis or TB, cryptococcal meningitis, bacterial 
infection and some can cancer including lymphomas and carpal sarcoma WHO recommends that every person who may be at risk of HIV should access testing. People at increased risk of acquiring HIV should seek comprehensive and effective HIV prevention testing and treatment service HIV infection can be diagnosed using simple and affordable rapid diagnostic tests as well as self tests it is important that HIV testing service follow the 5C consent Confidentially, counseling, correct result, and connection with treatment and other service. People diagnosed with HIV should be offered and linked to antiretroviral treatment or ART as soon as possible following diagnosis and periodically monitored using clinical and laboratory parameters including the test to measure virus in the blood or viral load if ART is taken consistently. This treatment also prevents HIV transmission to others. HIV can be transmitted through the exchange of body fluids from an HIV infected person, such as blood, breast milk, semen and vaginal fluids. HIV can also be transmitted through pregnancy. Healthy people can become infected through casual or everyday contact such as hugging, shaking hands, or sharing food or water. To prevent contracting HIV, we can use the concept of A, B, C, D, E. A or abstinence means absence of sex or not have sex for those who are not married. B or be faithful means being faithful to one sex partner or not having multiple partners. C. Condom means prevent HIV transmission through sexual intercourse by using a condom. D. Drug no mean it's forbidden to use drugs. E. Education it's mean providing correct education and information about HIV. It's mode of transmission, prevention, and treatment. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.